Hello, hello, hello. Here's the temperature and the time. It's really 510, 508, and it's 77 degrees. And we got 315 as the gas prices now. Welcome to another video, Life with May May. I'm going to turn you guys around while we chit chat where I get to my destination. I'm still in Holland, so I'll let you guys see. For those of you who heard of Holland, Michigan, we're in Holland, Michigan. So, yeah, um, I had looked at my um, my uh, video, and I see that uh, a lot of people, well, not a lot, but a couple of people unsubscribed. But I guess it's like that. I don't know why. I'm trying to build up my subscribers, not lose any. So um, I did mention uh, something about if you don't like this content, you know, you can stroll on. I only did that because I got a few negative comments. That's why I did that. Because, you know, everybody got feelings. If you don't have nothing nice to say, what do they say? They don't say nothing at all. So... That's the only reason why I said that. And that wasn't pertaining to everybody. So if it don't apply, let it fly, basically. So everybody should know that anyways, especially if you're grown and you know better and you got morals and your parents instilled all that in you, you know. Like, well, I didn't say nothing, so she ain't talking to me. So, yeah, I love everybody. I like respect. That's why I give respect. But, yeah, um, not doing too much today. As I stated before, going to play cards um, with a um, close friend. She like a sister. Just to get out the house because I've been in the house almost seven weeks and never been out really to you know socialize. I'm feeling a little better on some different medication for my migraines and my anxiety. So. Yesterday was good and today is good. So pray for me. I continue to be good. And who knows? We we win enough money. This car game might stop by the casino on my way home. I went yesterday, but it wasn't given. I stayed like an hour. I left. So I only lost $50. I came with a couple of hundred. So I was like, no, it, it's not given. It's taken. And it took it so fast. Then you really didn't see nobody really winning. Because that's what I listen for. Jackpots and walking past. And not to be nosy because everybody do. But look at um, everybody total on their screen. There weren't too many people winning. The highest I seen was like five, 600. Everybody else in the two, couple of hundred. But yeah, so I pray. God pray for me that I hit them big both ways. On this car game and if I stop by the casino. And that's one thing that I like to do. I like the casino. I don't love it. I like it. And some people think it's a sin, but it's not a sin. Anything can be a sin if you do it in a sinful way. So that's what God means. If you, whatever you do, do it without sin. I didn't steal from nobody. I didn't lie to get the money or nothing. It's my money. So... Yeah, and then the same ones that be saying it be right up there. So that's what I was like. I don't listen to nobody anyway. I never did. I'm a follower. I mean, a leader. I am not a follower. Never. So I got followers that follow behind me. Hey, is that another? Oh. oh, probably down this one. What's, how did I get straight on it yesterday? Okay. Oh. Yeah, guys, this is too much. All this construction. Look at over here. I'm trying to think because I went to Grand Rapids yesterday. Too much construction, but yeah, I um. Uh, so we could have went that way. Yeah, I let people do them, you know. 
you don't, if you think it's a sin or you're not with that, then you're not with it. Everybody not with everything everybody else with. Like, I don't like sports. I don't like sports. I don't like some um, TV shows, some Lifetime movies, some, you know. That's why me and my husband, we watch separate stuff. He and this man came, I'm in the bedroom. And then once he get tired, he want to lay down, I go in the living room. That's the way we always done it. So, we accommodate each other, and that's the way you're supposed to do. I bring my comb with me. Yeah. I want to hear something else. So I say, everybody ain't going to like everything you don't supposed to. They make you uncomfortable, don't do it. No, people gotta understand. Like they used to say, what made me tick don't make you tick. That's all true. So hopefully, this all worked out. Come back a couple of hundred more than when I left. That'd be a blessing. Because it can't happen. I already put it in the universe. Fill up my tank. I'm already pretty close to full, though. But it's crazy. How much further you go, the more gas. And it's in the 300. I mean, the, I said 300. <laughs> $3 and something, too. Mm -hmm. It's giving. I better slow down to holiday weekend. That's what it's giving. Why? I ain't even been hungry the last couple of days. Eating like a little bird. The breakfast I had, I mean for lunch, because I had one when I went to Grand Rapids, me, my mom, my brother. We had went to see my aunt, and my mom's sister. And on the way back, we stopped by one of um so well it's a rabs running, but they it's like a fish fry place and they cook fish. Chicken, chicken gets it. So I got me a ch chicken gets a basket. They gave me a lot of gets it, though for eight dollars. My mom had got the perch, but yeah, when she got the perch, it was uh, I thought the stuff was gonna be like twenty two dollars, twenty seven, and she only asked for a three piece, but she ended up getting a six piece. And I was like, oh, that's why it was so high, yeah. Excuse me, I say that to say food expensive. You think when you go to the grocery store, that ain't nothing when you're eating out. Yup, when you're eating out, like it's horrible. Yup, it's horrible. When you're eating out. That stuff can get real expensive. I wish they gone so I could get in here. And it's crazy because that's a dinner, twenty-seven dollars. That's a dinner. Yeah, he going too slow. Trying to get over there. Funky honky. Oh, these white people make me sick. So prejudiced. You guys forgive me because I am not prejudiced. The damn, if that was me that wouldn't let her in, she would have put her middle finger up at me. That's what they do. And then they hide, they, uh, how they say the saying? You, uh, how they say they saying you, you bowed about it. But then when it's time to, to answer for it, and then you hide your hands. Gone. Funky ass honky. God forgive me. Hate to be like that. Kills me. And do not come in front of me. Show you something. You don't want to let nobody in. Truck did it all up in the front and the back. That don't even make sense. 
make no slips. Oh, Lord, help me. Pray for me, Jesus. I am not like that. I just, I'm just tired of it. They just keep doing it. On a daily basis, I get done like that like three or four times. And then if I was to do that, they sticking their finger up at me, cussing at me. I didn't do none of that. I kept my stuff inside my truck. They roll their window down, stick their middle finger up, and be, I don't know what they be saying. Most likely, you know they probably calling me a nigger. That's how they is. This girl clearly could have slowed it down. Now she way back there. Go on with your games. Woosa. Woosa. Anybody watching my videos, white, black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, I am not prejudiced. It's just I keep getting the, uh, the shaft by the white people. It's the, it's, it's the white people. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. And I ain't trying to make it about race, but it is. It is what it is. Stuff is real bad now. You thought it'd get better. Look how many decades it is. Still holding on to that. Some of them raised like that, but you ain't got to be like that. You judge a person by their heart, not by uh, their color. You judge a person by their color, then you always going to lose. Because a black person probably be better to you than a white person. Especially if they're not prejudiced. Stuff don't make no sense. I can't believe this stuff. It's just hard for me to believe my stepfather white. And I love him down. Because I treat my mom and my daughter and my grandkids and me. The first started off with, with my mom and my daughter. Because my daughter was a little eight-month-old baby. And he don't have any biological kids. So the way he took to my daughter, that got me. This stuff is bad. I mean, like that. And for what? What is you getting out of it? That stuff is sad. Just so happy I'm not like that. That's why my daughter think I'm so nice because you know I give people chances. Yep, it's a couple of people that I used to look out for and house them back in the days, and uh, because they was getting put out, and they turns on me, turns on me with people that would never give them a they floor to sleep on. People, it's something else these days. Yeah, that's why I don't mess with nobody really. I'm a loner. If I ain't with my husband, my mom, my daughter, my grandkids, my brother, me and God. Oh, man, people too fake, sneaky, two faced. It's not crazy. Calm now, guys. Pray for me, cause I didn't mean that. I honestly didn't. It just, you know how the pot boil, the tight, and it just, if you don't take the pot off or over, that's what, I was overloaded. I had to get it out. I'm sad and mad at myself. I did it on camera, but forgive me. I know better, so I gotta do better. Cause I would have been. More courteous than that. That's me though. Everybody like me. People so in a hurry at the time, but then now they behind you. Speed of 70, I'm going 74. And the person way back there. So so you did all that for what? Make it make sense. It don't. slurs, Lord God. Turn me from that, Lord God. And I pray that you touch each and every person. Even black, white, Mexican, Japanese, Asian, anybody that does that or is express racial action towards another race, deliver them, Lord. And 
and deliver the ones that get upset like me and don't say the kindest things. I thank you for this day. I pray for my traveling mercy to and fro. Pray I can win a lot of money, Father God. Touch every game that I play with these cards. If I stop my gun, like bless and touch every machine. Let it go off and it's a winner every time. Pray that I can come back ten times with what I got in my purse. Thank you, Father God. You are at the beginning of the end. I ask you bless and touch my family. My husband, his three children, his grandmother, his two brothers, and his nieces and nephews, cousins and aunts and uncles alike. Touch and bless my parents. My daughter, my three beautiful granddaughters, my niece and her six kids, and her two grandkids, my two brothers, my aunts, and my cousins alike. God, I thank you, Jesus. I ask you to just go, go around the world, Father God, delivering and blessing and healing. Going to the jail cells, Lord God, honor caps, nurse homes, kid college, in prison. Malcolm County, even people just out here in the world, Lord God, they in prison with the downtrodden of life, they had drug and alcohol abuse, physical and mental, emotional abuse, Lord God. I ask you to bless and help them, and I pray we can be more kind to one another, Lord, respect one another, Lord. It's for all walks of life, not just me, my family, it's all walks of life. You to bless the food that we eat. Bless, thank you, and bless you for the home that you gave us, shelter, and vehicles, and jobs, Father God, because you didn't have to do it, Jesus. But you did. You keep on doing it, Lord. I ask you to touch and bless me. Keep my headaches away, my anxiety at bay, my lumbar pain at bay. I'm still in you, Lord, right now, Lord God. I get you in the nation, I make over. I thank you, praise you today, tomorrow, and always. God, good and all the time you are good. Thank you for how you watch over us, Lord God, as we sleep in, doing chores, working, visiting, Lord God. Or just on our knees, Father God. I thank you, praise you, Father God. I love you, Jesus, because you first loved me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, guys. I just had to say that prayer because I feel bad. But because they went low, I ain't got to go low. But sometimes that happens. I'm not perfect. I'm human. But I ain't never too big to say, forgive me, Jesus. Or I'm sorry if I hurt some of my feelings. So I try not to do that. That's crazy how it's so joyful when somebody can take you out your kid to look at him. Because you can't believe it. It's like, what did I do to deserve this? I'd stop and let people buy all the time. Because I'm not in a big of a hurry like that. Where I'm going, and I'm going to get there. And it don't make sense to me because when they do that, then they, um... When they jump out there and do that, I be questioning. But then, yeah, yeah, when they jump out there, I be questioning. And then you did all that, and then you way back there. So what did what did you do that for? Like, it don't make sense. Driving is a privilege. I don't want to get in an accident. I don't. I already had my fair share twice, and then a deer ran into my truck. Well, I ran into him. I don't know how you want to say it, because he got in my way. I was going straight ahead, he ran in front of me. But I'm thankful and grateful of the, I wish it wouldn't happen at all, but me and my husband, there wasn't nothing wrong with us, it's just on the left side, from the quarter panel, from the door, driver's door, all the way around to the left, it was towed all up. You can see the inside of the water pump and all that stuff. 
some damage. so beautiful. That's what I was talking about yesterday. I mean the clouds. See how the clouds is, guys? Beautiful. I got sheets. A sheet set like that. Yes, that cloud and the cloud is like and that's what I'm telling my aunt. I said, every time I go somewhere raining gloom and doom today I got up I mean, I cooked my little dinner. I had already had it in my mind. Yeah, I'm getting out for a couple hours. This is why I'll be home by 10 the latest. Yeah, a productive, fun, money winning session. That would be the best. I stop at Walmart, all that stuff. I can go to Walmart. I want to put some money up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yesterday was packed. I know why, because the first people on the first got their checked. It was packed in that casino. Barely find the machine. But like I said, I got there at 7. I left at a little after 8. If it wasn't given, I was given to me today. Blessings for me today. It was kind of rough. Look at them. Every time. Don't say nothing, guys. I don't know if you guys seen that. A Caucasian guy coming off the ramp. See me going straight. Try to outrun me. And I was already right there, so I said, Everybody in a hurry. Not in no hurry. I started driving in 2002, I think, after I got my car. Gas was 175, 180, love that. And it shows you. Went up. That's why I ain't voting, but I pray that she do Democrats some justice. I mean, I pray she win. Fight these gas prices and these mortgage and rent. Food. I know it's going to be higher, but lower it down some. Or we should get a cost of living raise right? more than what we get to match that. People out here got to get two jobs. <laughs> Excuse me. That's the price. I know I had two jobs before when I was younger, too. Yep, but if you gotta do it, I guess you gotta do it. It's kind of sad. It's like you gotta work yourself to death. If you're young enough, it really ain't gonna bother you. If you're older, I had my share. That's when I first changed my life. I had two jobs. That was uh, 
2006.
and it was horrible. I don't wish that on no one. Thankful and grateful. It didn't tear us apart. We still together. The Lord's will is stronger than ever. He see what I already was telling him. So he got to make his own decision. It ain't me trying to sway him. He saw. And it is what it is. I'm just like I said, thankful and grateful. It didn't tear us apart because it could have. Because I could have stayed gone. But I, I chose to go back. Because I went and stayed with my daughter. She was moving to Grand Rapids. But uh, me and him started talking like one or two days when I left. So I was back over there spending the night and all that stuff. But it wasn't resolved. And it was crazy because you could tell it was true love. We both lost weight. And he started drinking and he wasn't drinking at first. So it took a toll on us. I lost a lot of weight. I had my family members thinking I was doing other things. I'm like, what? Well, I ain't have them thinking. That's what they had themselves thinking. And those was the ones that was really doing the dang thing. Stress as a mother, so whoever went through stress, some people infect your uh, weight because you can't eat. So that's me. The stress weight is not good weight because you do it too fast. So, yeah, I've been through the uh, tough times before I uh, gave my life to the Lord. So that's why I know what it is. That's why I go higher for the Lord. But I got. People say don't turn around and look back. You're supposed to. That's supposed to make you strong. It's my inspiration. When I do look back, they you know that wasn't a good spot. That ain't where God wants you at. Because when people develop habits that take over their life, and then at the end, Losing yourself plus the material things, and your, if you got kids, a marriage, your faith, your relationship with your parents, anybody else, it don't matter to me. It's first of all, it's God, my faith, my daughter, and my mother, and if I was married or had a husband or uh, in a, a committed relationship, I wasn't though. I just served gospel songs like he saw the best in me and never would have made it. Woo! Man, those songs just resonate with me. So I could feel it like it was happening to me right then. But then it, it, it transcended through my body and my mind and soul like I made it. You know, in spite of the naysayers, because you know the worst critics is your family. They say, "Oh, she ain't gonna do this. She ain't gonna do that." But a lot of them, if they got kids that's doing the same thing, oh, you the worst person on earth. But their kids is the best person. So then, if you change your life before their kids, they really be mad. They really be mad. They use you as a weapon against their kids. It was done to me. Because the person was down where I live at before me. But see, they took their same ways, like party and all that. They took that and brought it down to the new spot. You don't supposed to do that. See, mine's work because I was I had already gave my mind, body, and soul to the Lord. So he worked with me. And I'm so thankful and grateful. That oh I am. You know what? I never brag or boast. I'm grateful. I have gratitude on today. In spite of the material things, I'm talking about what he built up in me. No money can't buy that. The peace I have. The love, the joy to know I don't have to live like that. Suffering. Long suffering. I thank him every day. That's why when I see somebody that I used to hang out or used to see when I was doing that and they still doing it by the grace of God they still around but they mental is messed up because it takes a toll on you because you got to worry about stuff when all the high is gone where you going to lay your head at your family going to talk about you when you go around them they going to shun you 
the people that used to know you before, you get treated different. You get treated like S-H-I-T or the, the bottom of the barrel, like you're not even human. And that's so sad because I will never treat nobody like that. I don't care what they do. I ain't going to mess with you. I hang out with you. But I ain't going to mistreat you if I see you. And if I remember you, I'm going to speak. That's just me. You know? But guys, we're going to end this video right here because I'm to my destination. I thank you. thank you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's free, it's free to hit the subscribe button. I'm sorry, guys. It's free to hit the su subscribe button. It don't cost nothing. It's to support the channel and help the algorithm. That way it can get out so more people can see it and view it. All you guys that skimming through and viewing, please like, share, comment, and positive comments only. And subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell your cousin, your mother, your grandmother, your uncle, your granddad. Your, it, 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 I don't know. You might have somebody in your family that need to hear this or need to watch my videos. Um, this channel is called Life of May May. And if this you guys first time here, I just record what I'm doing on a daily basis. And go over to my TikTok at MK0318 and check out my TikToks. And go over and show my daughter some love. Family first, 9299. Okay, guys, I'm out. Peace.